3 million cubic feet of bedrock was excavated to create the masterpiece that is the Kailasa Temple in India, which forms part of the Alora Caves. To put this into perspective, the weight of that bedrock is estimated at 200,000 tonnes. And get this, that excavated bedrock is nowhere to be seen. The excavation of this amount of bedrock would see massive piling of the excavated rock, but it's nowhere. It's as if it was simply obliterated into dust, and it begs the question of what kind of technology may have been used to create such a wonder. Wait to hear this. Mainstream discussions about mythological technology and stories of energy machines that were once housed in the many tunnels and passageways beneath the caves of Alora have fueled speculation of the techniques used to create this wondrous monument. Beginning at the top and working to the bottom, carving intricate carvings of Shiva and hollowing out rooms, doors, windows and other intricate carvings have confounded our understanding. What abilities did these people have? Apart from their eye for amazing artistry, how did they envision, plan, design and then find the right tools and people capable of achieving this task? It is mind-boggling and all you have to do is look at what they achieved with apparent primitive tools that would deem this task impossible today. There are things that we don't know, things we refuse to believe. Perhaps answers to these questions lie in the ornate architecture, painstakingly yet seemingly effortlessly carved at this wonder. The Kailasa Temple was excavated using a technique known as vertical excavation. Unlike other rock cut structures that are carved from the front, the Kailasa Temple was carved from the top down. This method allowed the artisans to achieve a high level of precision and detail. This temple was believed to have been commissioned by the Rashtrakuta king Krishna I around the 8th century. It is estimated that over 200,000 tons of rock were removed during the construction of this temple. The rock was likely transported to nearby areas although the exact locations remains unknown. The sheer volume of rock removed and the precision required for such an undertaking highlights the advanced engineering skills of this period. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva, who is one of the principal deities of Hinduism, known as the Destroyer and the Transformer. The dedication to Shiva is evident in the temple's intricate carvings and sculptures, which depict various aspects of the deity in his mythology. According to local Indian historians, these ornate features of the temple were applied using chisel and hammers, with artisans carving directly into the basalt rock. The temple's design includes a central shrine, a large courtyard, and numerous smaller shrines and halls. The walls and pillars are adorned with detailed reliefs and sculptures, showcasing scenes from Hindu epics like the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. This temple is around 1,200 years old and thought to have been completed in the 8th century. Its construction is attributed to the Rashtrakuta dynasty, which ruled large parts of South and Central India during this period. Furthermore, the temple's architectural style shows different influences indicating a blend of regional artistic traditions. Despite extensive studies, several mysteries surround the Kailasa temple. One of the most intriguing questions is how the ancient builders managed to achieve such precision and symmetry without modern tools. The vertical excavation technique itself is a marvel as it required meticulous planning and execution. Another mystery is the exact purpose of some of the temple's features. For instance, the temple complex includes a large number of water channels and cisterns, the function of which is not entirely understood. And the absence of a dedicated inscription leaves some questions about the exact timeline and patronage of this temple. Nonetheless, the Kailasa Temple stands 
as a monumental achievement in the history of Indian architecture. Its construction involved the removal of an enormous amount of rock, the application of intricate carvings and the dedication to a principal deity of Hinduism. Despite its age, the temple continues to inspire awe and admiration and its mysteries invite further exploration and study. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.